Hello, my people. You're welcome back to Physical Fashion House channel. I'm Fola. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. And uh, if you are new here, you are welcome to this beautiful community. So try and subscribe. And uh, to buy your sewing machine and uh, sewing tools, just use your, the, the link on the description box. Thank you. So today, I'll be teaching you how to cut a uh, bishop collar. So let's go. Cut your bishop collar. The first thing you have to do is to measure your your neckline. You measure it round. After joining the front and back together, you now measure it round. So when we measure it round, it gives us something close to 17 inches. So, and if you divide that into two, it will give you something around eight and a half because you are going to cut your you are going to cut your collar on foot so it gives it gives us a eight quarter so now what you do now is that first of all measure four inches down on your you are going to use a, a paper stick or gum stay, whatever. So you fold it. After folding it, you you measure four inches down. So use like uh, nine inches to fold it. When you fold it, you know we are looking for eight quarter, but to be on safer side, so let there be excess. Fold like nine quarter. So after measuring four inches down, you roll it. Then, what we are going to use, I mean, the size I'm going to make the color I'm making here is one. So you can use like a one and a half, one quarter, one and a half, but I think one is a moderate. So you are going to, from that four inches line that you have ruled, you are going to measure one inch down. You measure one inch down, you rule it. So here now, you know, we measure eight, uh, eight quarter. So here now, to get your eight quarter, the first thing you are going to do, measure three. We are measuring three because we measure uh, three is the wideness of our neck. So three is what you use as, as the wideness of your neck when you are when you want to sew a piece of collar. So you measure that three first. You measure three inches on the down here. So then you now place your French cup on the down part to measure your eight quarter now. You measure your eight quarter on it. Yes, here we have our eight quarter. So you now roll it. You can see how useful your French cuff is because French cuff will give you better outcome in this case. So the next thing to do now is from this line now. You now measure your, you now measure one inch, go around. The one inch that I want the size of my bishop collar to be. I measure it round. Yes. So I now use uh, this smaller French cuff now to link it together. So, like so. So I want to cut it out now.
so this is our visual color now the next thing is to go and paste it on the fabric so we are going to add half inch half inch up and down for the sewing allowance so now we have uh, pasted it on our fabric with iron so the next thing to do now is to measure half inch go round we measure one inch I mean half inch we measure it go round as a as a seam allowance so we are going to after cutting this out now we are going to cut another one of this out but without a without a gum stick. I'm going to cut another one of this out. But without gum stick, you don't need to paste gum stick on the second. It's just like lining for your bisou. Yes, this is it. So, the next thing to do now is to first of all join this place together. You join here together. You can give it any shape you want here. So, you can give it shape like this. No. So, if you like, you can leave it straight or you give it this type of uh, shape. In both, you let it be in both sides. So. so you join here together, you join here together, then you go and join this to your to the neck of your of your shirt. So it's we really, so that's the visual color. You use the same method here that you are fixing the button or you just want to give it the slit in the front. So now we want to go and join it together. So this is the end result of our uh, bishop color. You can see how beautiful and neat it looks. This is the back feel. And this is the front feel. Hope you have learned from this uh, video. So like, share, and uh, drop comments, and uh, and subscribe to our channel. And to order for your um, sewing tools and the sewing machine, just click on the description. Thank you.